Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a MacBook Air M1 2020. The model number is A2337 and the problem with the laptop is that the keyboard and touchpad is not working. This is Syed from Noon Computers. Let's get started. I also want to share the story of this laptop with you guys. This laptop is bought about 6 months ago, I think, and it is still in the warranty period only. When the customer sent the laptop to the service center, I mean the Apple authorized service center, they rejected to repair it under warranty as the laptop is water damaged, which is told by the service center only. And also they told the customer that they have to replace the keyboard and touchpad and they will not repair it. Cost of the replacement is also ridiculously high. The cost was around 35,000 for replacement. As you guys already know that Apple products and Apple repair services are always high. Now let's fix this board. First of all, we have to physically inspect each and every section of the board in order to identify the problem. The problem may be very small or the problem may be very big but we have to clearly check each and every components and each and every section of the laptop uh, in order to identify the problem. Once we identify the problems then it is only a matter of time solving it. In any board services repairing part is very easy but the problem identification part is very very hard. Let us see each section one by one in order to identify the problem. Here I think I have found the problem. As they told in service center, I mean as the repair guys told in service center, this board is indeed water damaged. You can see the corrosion over here. Now what we have to do is, we have to check other parts for corrosion also. I think it's the back of the touchpad. Let's see e each connector one by one. These two connectors are good. And this third connector is also good. I mean, there is no corrosion or watermarks around the connector. Okay, let's move on to the next part. I only see corrosion on that part only. So what we have to do is we have to remove the touchpad from the laptop now and we'll get back to the video after that. Now I have removed the touchpad from the laptop and you are see what you are now looking is the back side of the touchpad. Here you can clearly see that there is lot of damage uh, which is caused by the liquid or water. Uh, first let's analyze each and every component and see what level of damage is caused. Here there is a component. And there are lot of other components which has been damaged due to the water. In this also most of the places are just a uh, watermark. We have to analyze the damage first. What I am very much concerned is the connector area. You can clearly see that there are there is a lot of water damage or liquid damage. Let's first remove the flex cable from the connector. We have to be careful while removing those flux connectors as they are very fragile. Let me remove it safely. The flex connector is attached using some adhesive back side of the connector so uh, we have to remove it very carefully now we have uh, successfully removed the flex connector i mean the flex cable from the connector now you can clearly see that the left side of the fpc cable is corroded and also there is other line which is corroded first of all Let's clean it using IP and then we'll see how many lines we have to rebuild or how many traces we have to rebuild. 
you can clearly see that the uh, the left side four traces are completely disconnected and the center one is di also disconnected One, two, three, four, four, and five. Five traces has been uh, disconnected or damaged. So, in order to get the laptop working again or the keyboard and touchpad working again, first we have to fix those five traces. Let me take a surgical blade and uh, clean the area. This trace is okay. It is intact. We don't have to do anything. This is completely gone and this is also okay I think. Now let's come to the left side of the cable. I mean FPC cable. In order to identify those traces what we have to do is we have to scratch the whole area to expose the traces I am using a surgical blade here if you also doing those kinds of work or any kinds of work for scratching do not use normal blades or uh, any other uh, laser blades surgical blades are very perfect for those work as they provide control and precision there is no need to hurry up we have to scratch layer by layer carefully I am using very very light hand but in in the video you could see that I am using as a hard but actually I am using very very light hand I am just scratching each layer by layer we don't have to show our strength here so we have to be very mild Now we have uh, exports the area now you guys can clearly see that all the four traces goes to the single rail I think that's the main voltage rail for the FPC connector or the keyboard or the touchpad I don't know what's it powering up now we have to connect those four traces to that main voltage la la rail and then we also have to connect that fifth pad in order to complete the work now let's get back to the component I have to check the traces from the FPC connector to the component if those traces are okay then I have to identify the component and check whether it is good or not if the component has failed then I have to find the replacement for it after that let us fix the FPC cable let me speed up the video in order to save your time
After testing the component I found that that it has failed so now we have to replace it. We have now completely fixed all the problems that are visible to us. Now it's time to check whether the keyboard and touchpad is working or not. Let me assemble it into the laptop in order to check the results. Hopefully we should have fixed the laptop. Let's see. Now you can see that the laptop has been fixed, touchpad and keyboard are working fine. I don't have the password for the laptop so I cannot log in. I'll inform the customer that his laptop is fixed and I am sure he will be very happy to hear the message. I'll assemble the laptop now and uh, we have fixed the laptop in less than one tenth of the cost that was originally quoted by the Apple service center. If you want to fix your laptop also feel free to contact us. Contact information will be given in the description. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends and fellow technicians which motivates me to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching the video guys, we'll see you guys in next one.